to the pull-up interview. I'm here with Smooth Ukraine. If you don't know this guy, check him out on YouTube. He's got some amazing content online. So how do you first develop your love for basketball? Um, I can say thank you, big thank you to my father and my older brother because let's say they gave the ball into my hands when I was young, at six or five years old. I saw them play uh, in the same team in my small city uh, and I, I fell in love with it. Although my brother plays also volleyball, my dad is a chess player, but basketball is the thing that united them. So when I saw them play, I decided that I want to be like them and I want to be a professional basketball player too. Okay. All right, great. All right, so you're, it looks like your father, your brother really inspired you. Um, who inspired you on the entertainment side of basketball? Oh, entertainment, man. First, I can say, of course, it was NBA first. When I saw the dunks that Kobe Bryant was doing, all the guys in the league, Alan Iverson with the crossovers. But when I saw Nike freestyle okay, yes, yes. on TV in 2001, I was like, wow, what the hell is that? It was so cool. I fell in love with it, like, so quick. And I went to the court, was trying to emulate the moves, and I was good at it. So I saw the Nike freestyle, then I saw the Harlem Globetrotters. I saw the Harlem Wizards, the French dunk team called Slam Nation. Okay, yeah. Then End One Mixtape Tour. My mind was blowing. That so many things going on, not in the NBA, but around it. So it's not only organized five on five basketball. It's so much more than that. And I fell in love with it. And uh, I think I became one of those guys who can do uh, playing organized ball, doing tricks, and dunking. That was my was my goal to be able to do all three. Yeah. And that's that's what I really see a lot now is that the game has evolved now where it's not just five on five. There's a lot of three on three uh, tournaments and three three X three is getting big now. Alright, so if you could pick one NBA player to guest star on your YouTube channel, who would you pick? Okay, that, that's a really hard question. Right sure. now, it should be LeBron. Exactly. Because if you pick LeBron it's like I don't know how many millions of views, right? Like right away. But for the love of the game. I would pick a couple of the guys. Of course, like LeBron is on the first, first place. But then, Allen Iverson in his prime. Jamal Crawford, favorite. My, one of my favorites, definitely. Um, Kyrie Irving mm -hmm. for his dribbling abilities. And Shaquille O'Neal, because you can just talk to him. Not yeah. even playing, no, no challenges, no games, just to talk to Shaq. And it's already like great content. Yeah, just outside of the game, Shaq is a character. Right? Yeah. All right, so who's your favorite dunker of all time? NBA or street ball, both? Uh, NBA, it's pretty easy. It's Vince Carter. It's like, no doubt about that. Yeah. In-game, dunk and test, Vince yeah, Carter he's got is the top. All. Yeah, he's a GOAT. Uh, in street ball, my favorite dunker was a Slam Nation member, the Kadurziani is the name. He was 5'10", uh, if, I, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. and he was doing crazy stuff with one foot. He was dunking from a free throw line, doing like crazy cradle things, 360s, dunking over people. Uh, he was my like childhood hero in terms of dunking, and I was trying to like uh, emulate his his moves, his dunks. Okay. So he's my he's my hero. Okay. But for now, if we pick like nowadays NBA, I think the best dunker right there is Zach Levine. Definitely, yeah. yeah, but some of the guys, like Derek Jones Jr. and Terrence Ferguson, yeah, yeah, yeah. who are not playing a lot of minutes in the in NBA, but they, they jump like crazy. Mm -hmm. And Terrence Ferguson can do all of the Levine's dunks, and maybe even better. I hope NBA will give him a chance to show the skills in the contest. There was a highlight, he fouled the guy, so somebody from the Lakers was doing a layup. Terrence Ferguson went up, and he was like like dead on the rim. He trying to yeah, he trying to skate. block. Yeah, it was a crazy like the picture of it in the internet is crazy. All right, what's your favorite dunk? My favorite dunk is the between the legs dunk. I mean easily because uh, I do it a lot in the contest. Like every contest I do between the legs dunk. And if I have a chance in a game, I love to do it in a game. But it, it happened maybe a couple of times, maybe two two or three times in a game, but. I'm so happy when it happens. Yeah, yeah. All right, smooth. Final question, man. It's the debate right now. <laughs> Who's the best? Who's the goat? Who's the goat? LeBron or MJ? Or you got somebody else? 
I mean, the GOAT might be MJ, MJ, for me, I mean, MJ and the GOAT, I mean, it's the, the, the same, <laughs> it's the same probably, yeah. so no doubt about that. Michael Jordan is the god of basketball, he was doing everything perfect. And of course, when I was growing up, there was no LeBron yet, mm -hmm. but it was Michael all over the place. So he's he, implanted in you. Yeah, he was scoring champion, he was dunk contest champion, he was NBA champion, defensive, defensive player, player of the year. year, like everything you could you could think of in uh -huh. the NBA, he was, he was that. But LeBron, LeBron is great, my favorite player right now, of course, but you know, he needs to win more, more than Michael, and then maybe, then maybe, we'll talk about that. maybe we'll talk about it. But definitely, LeBron, maybe he's uh, uh, he's bigger than Michael outside the, the court. Oh, yeah, I, I would agree with that. He's building the schools. He's doing a lot of his for the community. On the community yeah. Yes, and he's trying. MJ to build. does his thing too, but but the, the way LeBron does it is just different. It's, you know, if uh, social media was around when MJ yeah he a lot could be different huh? he would be so much hated by oh, the people because, because of how he actually is yeah huh? he wasn't a very nice guy let's he's say he's not like the that. Gatorade smile he's not the McDonald's commercials he's a vicious guy definitely not yeah but you got to be to be great right you got to be have a killer oh inside yeah you, so yeah that's why I can understand it people uh, I hate him for the bar for LeBron right now because he's not yeah. he's let's not let's not let's not say soft but uh, yeah. Well, he's got a he's got a, a clean image. Right? Yeah, yeah, he got he a friendship, right. friendship with a lot yeah. of players. He has yeah. dinners, all yeah. this stuff. MJ, no. no. If he if he's a, a, your enemy on the court, he probably your enemy outside the court. Yeah. yeah. So MJ is the goat. Yeah. And even if MJ is your friend off the court, when you get on the court, yeah. you're his enemy. So. Yeah. All right, so we got a vote here for MJ. Smooth. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, bro, for the interview. Thank you. Well, who is the goal for you? M MJ. MJ. All right. MJ. I'm, I'm going to say all day. Yeah, we settle that easy. <laughs> TBT, that's on me. TBT, that's on me. TBT, that's with me. Timberlake, my homie. TBT, that's on me.